Hello and welcome to the Nerd Bases video on the PlayStation 4 using remote play with the PlayStation Vita across the internet. And I know that there are a few other videos out there that already showcase this functionality, but I'm going to go through and explain a bit more in detail on what's actually going on behind the scenes or what I believe is going on. Uh, and it might help out some of you guys that are having some issues out there. Um, so what I'm going to be using is my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 as a hotspot uh, to connect to. So we're going to enable that. Uh, and um, you know, on T-Mobile, which gets uh, 15 megs up and 15 down, roughly, on uh, on their network, and on my network at home, I'm using Time Warner, and uh, I get five up. So, on a five meg upload speed, I'm doing pretty well for the most part using this. Um, let's connect up to the access point I just made. All right, and we'll go back over to the Remote Play app. And the PlayStation 4 uses UPnP to talk to your router. So if you have a router that has UPnP, just make sure it's enabled and you'll be good to go. You shouldn't have any problems at all. Uh, if, you're, if you don't have UPnP enabled, um, you you're, might run into some issues. Uh, it seems to always open up three of the same ports. It opens up port 9295, 9296, and 9297. So just go ahead and enable those ports on your router to point towards your PlayStation 4 and you should be okay. Uh, can't completely guarantee that because I haven't completely done all the testing yet. Um, okay, so right now we're connected up and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on my PS4 right now. See if I can focus this a little bit better for you. It's a little tricky. Um, so that's it there. And you can see in the background that that's that. I'll just do some quick movement there so you can see what's going on. We'll start up Resogun, uh, which I had already died in previously. I'll just run that a little bit more for you. Um, and I've been really happy with how well this actually works. Um, I, I, it's actually gone unbelievably smooth. Uh, and, and this is over cellular networks. You can imagine that if you were doing this on a more stable connection, that it would be almost perfect. Like this is running really, really smoothly for me. Like I'll die here. You can see it, the explosion on both screens at the same time. I'll do it one more time for you. I mean, I know it's out of focus on on the other screen, but you can still get a general idea on what's going as to what's going on. Like it's just beautiful as far as how this all works together. Um, and the future, what I plan on doing is doing some sniffer captures, and you can get a better idea as to what's happening. And uh, I'll upload the data, see what we find, and uh, continue from there. So yeah, keep coming back to Nerdbase and checking out what's going on.